In this video, we'll learn about the highlighting. Highlighting anything in your charts, in your pie chart, in any diagram makes your data analysis much more better. For example, I have created some chart at the back end. If I select any one column here and I can see the details about that particular chart itself. So that it says the order priority, segment, ship mode, some other details are given. So if I want to compare this column with some other columns, I need to get it highlighted. So let's see in detail, how do we work on the highlighting part? You can download this workbook below the video. You can see the workbook which I'm working is highlighting. Data source is same, Global Superstore 2017. Let's see how do we work on the highlighting part. First of all, I'll clear the entire sheet. I'll create from the scratch itself. Just click on this clear workbook. So I'll pick up this customer segment in this place, pick up the sales into the rows and then I'll pick up the uh, the other one as ship mode into this columns. I'll pick up the ship mode into the color part and then I'll pick up the order priority in the columns part. Definitely you'll be getting this with the practice itself. I have done it multiple times for it. For me, it's very easy. So you have to keep on doing a number of times. How do I read this entire data? It says the rows are nothing but given as segment. If you see the rows are given as segment. Segment is customer, corporate and the home office. Here in the columns, if you see there are two things, ship mode and order priority. The ship modes are given as first class, same day, second class. How do I come to know? On the right hand side, if you see these are the ship modes. So first class is given here. This is the first class. Same day is given the second place and third class. Now where is the order priority? Inside first class, I have the order priority. Inside the same day, I have the order priority. So suppose if I click on the last column, the order priority is given as medium. So if I click on the middle one, it says order priority as low. And the third one, first one, if I click, it says order priority is high. So first one is ship mode. So these are the ship modes. Within ship mode, I have the order priority. These are the different order priorities. Order priorities here. So now how do I work with the highlighting? Right now, if I select any one, I'm just getting one column in one section, which is highlighted. What if I want to play with that thing? So what I can do is I can just use this option. If I click on this place, a highlighter in the toolbar, there are many options, disable workbook highlighting, enable sheet highlighting. So I'll say as enable sheet highlighting. So what it does is, what it does is if I select any one column, it highlights the entire row. If I select any one column, it highlights the segment. If I, if I be more specific, only the segment. So now if I click on this drop down, if you see there are given as all fields, date and times, and below are the three row names. If you see order priority, segment and ship mode. So where are the order priority? Order priority, segment and the ship mode. So when you select this one, when you select one column, what do you want to highlight? Do you want to highlight the order priority or ship mode or the customer? That is the segment which is given. So now I'll say if I select this column, the customer segment should be highlighted. The segment should be highlighted. So select this option. If I select this option as segment, observe here. So if I select any one, the entire row will be highlighted itself. That means the segment, whatever it may be, it might be something else also. If I select this one, the entire row, anything, not only this one, but any option in this column, if I select any one middle part, the entire segment would be highlighted. So if I select this option again, the entire segment gets highlighted. Now the opposite one, if I select any one option, the column would, should get highlighted. Now tell me what is the name of the column? It is first class, same day. These are the column names, but this belongs to ship mode. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this drop down and I'll say I don't want this segment. So I'll remove that segment, uncheck it and I'll say as ship mode. So now the ship mode would be highlighted. Anything if you select from this place, the entire ship mode or the entire column would get highlighted. So like this, if I select the entire column would get highlighted in this place. So this is selecting the rows and the columns itself. Now, sometimes if I select as order priority this one, I want all the order priorities everywhere. How do I do that? So first of all, I'll just click on this, clear this ship mode. I don't want this ship mode. So I'm interested in this order priority. So what are those order priority? If you see that's a medium, low and high, these are the order priorities. So if I want to highlight, if I want to highlight all the order priorities given in this place, so you see this one right now, if you see, if I select any one here, it's only getting one highlighted. So if I select this one, only one is highlighted. But if I select this medium, that means all the medium priorities have been selected. So again, I'll go to the same place. First, I'll click outside, click on this highlighter and select this order priority. And now if I select any one option here, you see all the places high order priority has been selected. All the places the high order is selected here. So if I again click on this drop down, if you see that's the order priority. So anywhere if you select like this, the order priority not only in this particular ship mode, but everywhere it is getting selected. So it is very easy for me to find out, to analyze the data itself. 
secure FC, medium, 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 all the medium order priority are given here. Now I want the combination, out, I want the combination of if I select order priority and the ship mode or let's say order priority and segment. So if I select here a segment, now if you observe the order priority everywhere along with the segment, segment is selected, not all the places. So here if I select all the order priorities, if you see all the order priorities along with the segment is selected. So you can keep on trying the permutation combinations everywhere like this. So why? Because order priority with segment is selected here. These are the order priorities, these are the segments. So now if I want order priority with ship mode, so if I select this order priority, only in this particular ship mode will be highlighted. If you see only this particular ship mode, so which is very easy to analyze data. So I hope you understood how to work with this highlighting part in this complicated chart itself. So suppose if you want to find out if you put the sales in the labels and you can understand how much is the profit or how much is the sales done at, at all the places part, right? This is one example here. The another example I can give you with the date and time field. What exactly says date and time? If I select any one option, all the options will get selected. What does the color resemble? Right now, if you see the colors are nothing but Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. These are the different quarters which are present. In one year 2012, I have four quarters. What is Q1, Q2, Q3? So if I want to highlight the quarters also, I'll pick up the quarters from here. I'll pick up the order date and I'll drop into the labels part. So it says this is the years which are given. I'll maximize this text. It went away. All right. So no problem here. What I'll do is I'll again pick up control Z. Yeah, that's the order date. Again, I'll press control Z. So these are the different quarters which are present here. Now what I want is if I select any one quarter, the all the quarters should get highlighted. So for that, what I have the option is if I click on this highlighter drop down and now it comes as date and times. If you see, these are the two fields, quarters and the years. And where are the quarters and years? If you see, that's the years and these are the quarters. So because I've dropped the quarters in this place, I'm getting the quarters also. So if I click on this drop down and here, if I say I want to highlight all the quarters. So if I select any one quarter from here, everything will be highlighted. If I deselect this one, if I deselect this one, only the quarter which you select will be highlighted itself. Again, if I click on this drop down, if I say I want to highlight the order entire year itself, any one if you select the entire year would get selected here. So you can keep on trying different permutation combinations. Now, if you want to remove everything, you can see as all fields. So you can just click outside and the only particular field would be selected itself. Now, at any point of time, if you think you want to disable this highlighting part, you can just select this option as disable sheet highlighting. Okay. And it will come to the normal place itself. That will be normal disable the sheet highlighting part. And if you want to disable the workbook highlighting, still you can select that option itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand the different things related to highlighting you can use into your work according to your requirement itself, right? That's all for this video.